that thought popped up in my mind. It said, what am I really here for? What is it that I'm trying to make an impact on? As I'm taking a couple of days to really put myself in a positive state of mind because right now I'm in a negative cycle, I realize that the thoughts that I have right now are attracting what I am thinking about. So if I'm negative, I will be attracting negativity. If I'm positive, I'll be attracting positive things around me. And just take a couple of days to realize how important it is to sit down with the thoughts, sit down and journal down as much as you can. In the morning, I journaled about three pages and I have a lot more to journal about. about. I have a lot more to pour out on my heart onto the piece of paper, onto the piece of journal. This week is more about me sitting down and really putting myself in a state of mind where I'm calm, collective, healthy, because I've been getting a lack of sleep. I've been not getting as much sleep as I wanted to. I've lost a couple of people along the way. I lost myself along the way, actually. And today's when I realized I needed to put myself first for once. And I didn't think I would come to a position where I would feel like I didn't want to have contact with anyone or like I once did back in 2020. I didn't want to talk to anyone, but it's how I'm feeling right now. And I gotta be grateful for it because this is also an opportunity for me to push further, to learn more about myself, to really better myself in general. And this really relates to communication because if your physiology is negative, your psychology will be negative. It will be shown. And if all of that's negative, your mindset's negative, the conversations you're going to have is not going to be the best. And I'm relating this to communication, I'm relating this to social skills because you have a negative mindset. No one wants to be around a negative person. And this week I'm taking time for myself to really going outside in nature, sitting down, potentially going into a forest, bring my journal and just sitting down for a couple hours. And then the only person I'll probably talk to is my best friend because at the end of the day, like he's someone I can also rely on just to speak about. He knows exactly what I went through a bit back in 2020 where I didn't have any contact with people. And that's where I transformed my life in 2021 because I stopped speaking to people. I stopped being around people. And that was at a point where like I was depressed and I had to, I had to change something. And right now I'm not in a good state of mind. So this is where I develop myself into a new version the 2.0 version of myself. It's finally time to really put myself out there to learn more, to better myself more, to dial down on my sleep, to dial down on reading, to dial down on the habits that once got me into where I, where I am right now. Another thing is like, I might just be going outside with my best friend this weekend want to be able to socialize with people and I don't know where I'm going to go with them but I hope it's somewhere where like I can like check out nature I see other people we go on an adventure and we just smile laugh talk about life and really sit down and get to know each other that's a beautiful experience that I'm imagining right now and a lot of you guys, if you lack the social skills and you're mentally down, you're feeling super down, you feel like you're low on energy, you don't know what to do next, I really recommend you to go outside into a forest, bring a journal, sit down for a bit, write down whatever comes to your mind onto the piece of journal and be grateful. And if you see a couple of people walk around the forest and they see like, seem like friendly people, of course, go up to them and just ask, hey, how's your day going? 
start up a conversation, let it flow, even if you're nervous, even if you're not speaking with flow, that's all right. You're putting yourself out there. I think right now I'm in the works of trying to balance things in my life. I'm trying to understand exactly what I could do to get myself back into a position where I'm mentally okay. And of course, I dropped so many habits along the way and it finally caught up to me. It finally showed me that this is not acceptable. Even when I was speaking to two people in the morning today, they could tell like I wasn't in the best mindset. I wasn't in the best mood. I wasn't really present. And that's the worst part, having other people around me, just seeing me in that position. It's not the best. And that's why I'm really taking this time to focus on myself, to better myself. Today was also beautiful because it's very windy outside. Falls here. I put on the LED strip lights in the back, put a bamboo candle on, watched a bit of anime movie actually the yeah, anime movie while i was eating it was beautiful and i think the anime movie is called the flavor of youth or something along that line and it just gave me a beautiful vibe i remembered it felt like something that i once experienced back then it felt like super blissful honestly <laughs> And then right now, I'm just creating this video talking about how I'm feeling. And I'm seeing where I want to go with this video. But I'm kind of stuck at the moment. But that's all right. Just wanted to really get my thoughts onto this journal and then create this video. And then I'm probably going to go out for a walk. Maybe call out my best friend. And like laugh. Have a great time for just like 20, 30 minutes. Come back and grind as much as I can when I'm back home and just really get better. Yeah. Just remember to take it easy and everything will be fine. I promise life will get better. I promise if you're feeling down, things will start to um, turn around and you'll start to experience the beauty of life. So just remember to take it easy and everything will be fine.